بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ومن تبعه بالإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد All praise and thanks is for Allah the Lord of everything and I ask Allah to send peace and blessings upon us beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and whoever follows Muhammad peace be upon him in good deeds until the day of judgment welcome back again now we're still with the book three fundamental principles by Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab now in our last sitting we spoke about Islam which is the first pillar of the religion in this sitting we're going to speak about the rest of the pillars of the religion now the second pillar of the religion is Iman. Iman has 70 odd branches. The, the, highest of all, the highest of all these branches is to bear witness that La ilaha illallah, none has the right to be worshipped except Allah. And the lowest of this is to remove an harmful object from the path of the Muslims. Haya, which is shyness, is also considered to be a branch of Iman. Now, what are the pillars of Iman? They are six. The first, to believe in Allah and His oneness. The second, to believe in His angels. Gabriel, Gabriel, as you'll say, all the malaika, all the angels. To believe in all the books, the Quran, the Torah, the Injil, the palms, all these books. To believe in his messengers, all the messengers that were sent to mankind, starting from Adam until the last prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him. And another thing is the last day, to believe in the last day, the day of judgment. And the last one, the final of all, is to believe in the creed, the bad and good of the creed. Everything that happens is the creed of the creator. It's his will, whether we like it or not. So let's go through the six again. To believe in Allah's oneness, to believe in all his angels, to believe in all the messengers that were sent, to believe in all the books that were given to the people, to believe in the last day, which is a day of judgment, and to believe in the creed, the bad and good of the creed. Now let's look at the proofs for all these pillars of Iman. The proof we can find from the Quran which, which shows the six evidence of Iman. Allah says in his book, لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَن تُوَلُّوا وَجُوهَكُمْ قِبَلَ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبَ وَلَكِنَّ الْبِرَّ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةِ وَالْكِتَابِ وَالنَّبِيِّينَ it is not righteousness that you turn your face to the east or the west, but rather righteousness is the righteousness of those who truly believe in Allah and the last day, the angels and the angels and the books and the prophets. This is in chapter Baqarah, verses 177. Now the proof for the creed, which is another ayah in the Quran, Allah says, we have created all things in accordance with a pre-decreed decreed measure. And this is in Surah Al-Qamr, verses 49. Now let's move on to the third pillar of the religion. The third pillar of the religion is Ihsan. Now this is the perfection of worship. It's where the believer tries to view Allah, worship Allah in a way that he can see Allah. And if he cannot do this, know that Allah is seeing him. And this is a third pillar or the highest level of Islam. Now the proof for this is, وَمَن يُسْلِمْ وَجَهَهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَهُوَ مُحْسِنٌ 
wa man yuslim wajhahu ila Allah wa huwa muhsin faqad istamsaka bil urwati al wuthqa and whoever submits his face to Allah while he is a good deed doer doer then he has grasped the most trustworthy hand hold this is in chapter luqman verses 22 Another verse from the Quran that speaks about the evidence for this this point inna inna allah ma'al ladhina attaqaw wal ladhina hum muhsinun truly allah is with those who fear him and those who do ihsan all types of good deeds Another ayah from the Quran is wa man yatawakkal 'ala allah fa huwa hasbu and whoever relies on Allah, he, he, Allah Azawajal, will suffice him. This is in Surah Al-Talaq, verses 3. Another proof is, وَمَيْ وَتَوَكَّلَ عَلَى الْعَزِيزِ الْرَحِيمِ الَّذِي يَرَاكَ الَّذِي يَرَاكَ حَيْنْ تَقُومَ وَتَوَكَّلَ عَلَى الْعَزِيزِ الْرَحِيمِ الَّذِي يَرَاكَ حين تقوم وَتَقَلِّبُكَ فِي السَّاجِدِينَ وَتَقَلِّبُكَ فِي السَّاجِدِينَ إِنَّهُ هُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ Put your trust in the Almighty, the most gracious, the most grace, graceful, who sees you when you stand up and when you're, when, and, and looks at your movements amongst those who prostrate. Verily, he and only he is the all-hearer, the all-knower. This is in Surah Shu'ara, -shu -shu verses 217. Also, the other proof is, وَمَا تَكُونُ فِي شَأْنٍ وَمَا تَكُونُ فِي شَأْنٍ وَمَا تَتْلُو مِنْ قُرْآنٍ وَلَا تَعْمَلُوا مِنْ عَمَلٍ إِلَّا كُنَّا عَلَيْكُمْ شُهُودًا إِلَّا كُنَّا عَلَيْكُمْ شَهُودًا إِذْ تُفِيضُونَ فِيهِ Whatever you may whatever you may do and whatever portion you may be reciting from the Quran and whatever deed you may perform we are witness of that when you are doing it and this is in Surah Al-Yunus verses 61 and also you can find the proofs in the famous hadith of Jibreel alayhi salam. The proof of Jibreel, the proof from the Sunnah is a famous hadith of Jibreel. May Allah be pleased with him. May Allah send peace and blessings upon Jibreel. Which is narrated by Omar. May Allah be pleased with him. One day, one day as narrated by the companions. One day, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and his companions were sitting in a room. Out of the blue, a guy came in with white clothing, white soap, and very dark hair. No one knew of him, and there was no sign on his clothes that there was a form of traveling, or he was a traveler. So he was strange. So everyone started to look at this guy. It was Jibreel. Now this angel, Jibreel, came in the form of a man. In the in the stunish look. He went up to Prophet Muhammad, sat in front of him, kneeled to knee to knee, and then placed his hands on Prophet Muhammad's thigh. May Allah be peace um, may Allah send peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad. He then said to Prophet Muhammad, O Muhammad, tell me about Islam. The Messenger of Allah, may Allah be pleased with him said, Islam is to testify that there is no deity worthy of worship and that Prophet Muhammad is his messenger to establish the prayer, to pay the zakah, to fast in the month of Ramadan, which is the ninth month of Ramadan, and to perform hajj if you are able to do this. Then the angel said to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, or peace be upon them, you have spoken the truth. The companions were amazed. You, they were amazed. Why? Now this guy was asking a question. And after Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, 
Prophet Muhammad and peace and blessings be upon the Prophet and also upon the angel. After Prophet Muhammad responded to the question, Jibreel said to Prophet Muhammad, you have spoken the truth. That was a surprise to the companions. Then the angel said to Prophet Muhammad, tell me about Iman. The Prophet responded by saying, it is to believe that it is to believe in Allah, his oneness, his books, his angels. To believe in Allah, his angels, his books, his messengers, the last day, and the decreed, the good and bad of the creed. Prophet, the, the, the angel then said to Prophet Muhammad, you have spoken the truth. Then the Prophet said to him, then the angel said to Prophet Muhammad, tell me about Ihsan. The Prophet ﷺ responded, it is to worship Allah as if you can see him. And if you are not able to do this, know that Allah is seeing you. Then he said to Prophet Muhammad, tell me about the hour. Prophet Muhammad responded, the one being asked or the one being questioned knows no more than the one being uh, um, asked. He then said, the angel then said to Prophet Muhammad, tell me about the signs, the signs of the, this day of judgment. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, responded, the slave girl shall give birth to her female master and you should see shepherds, barefooted, slanty clothed, poor desti dest destilate, destituted shepherds competing in constructing lof lofty buildings. Then he went away. The companion stayed there for a long time thinking, wondering, who is this guy? Then Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Omar, Omar, do you know who is the questioner? Who, do you know who is the guy that came to question me about the religion? The companion said, Allah and his messenger said, Allah and his messengers know best. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, then said, it is Jibreel. He came to teach you your religion. Now, that's one thing said and done. But people, we have to be realistic about the situations that we're living in. I personally have seen all and heard about all these signs. Yes, we have to be conscious. We have to take the signs of the Prophet seriously. We have to try to implement them in our life daily. We have to try to believe more and more. We have to set goals in our lives to implement these three pillars of the religion. Iman, Islam, Iman, and Ahsan. We start first by the simple things and we take a step by step. Of course, we have to ask Allah for his help because we're weak. But keep all these pillars, all these signs from your Lord, conscious in your hearts and on your tongue, in order to be grateful, in order to be thankful to your Lord. He has blessed you so much through this religion, through Prophet Muhammad. And thank you. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Please tune in for our next sitting. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.